So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up. So you want a brand new customized name play for Halo. Maybe one that looks a little something like this. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Just a couple notes before we get started. One, this is client side only. You're the only person who's gonna get to see this for people looking at your screen. Anybody else in the game or lobby or party is not gonna be able to see your customized nameplate. Number two, you have to replace a default nameplate in order to get a customized nameplate into the game. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you pick a nameplate that's very uncommon in the lobbies, because if you pick something that's common, you're going to see people rocking your unique nameplate and it makes it not very unique anymore. Um, next, the default dimensions are going to be 360 by 52. So if you just want to skip this whole tutorial and make your own thing, then there's your dimensions right there. And I'm going to show you where you can go replace it here in a moment. Lastly, if you are going to take that route, make sure that you keep your design to the right side of your banner, because if you fill up the design and it goes too far to the left, then your name and rank and everything is actually going to cover that design. So you want to make sure it's as far right aligned as possible. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. Here we are. So the very first thing you're going to do is make sure that the Master Chief Collection is closed and then you're going to open up the Steam Library. We're going to come down here and find the Master Chief Collection. Need you to right click on that, manage, browse local files. Now that we're here, we're going to be looking at data, UI, nameplates, images. Wow, I'm glad I did on the first try. I thought I was going to lose that. <laughs> Okay, so here's all the nameplates in the game. This is every single nameplate that you could possibly unlock. So we're going to want to pick one of these and we're going to customize it. So I ended up picking this right here. I picked the one with the Arbiter on it. My thought process behind it, this is a default nameplate, so most people don't want to wear it. But on top of that, it's also already purple, so it kind of matches my aesthetic because nobody can see your customized nameplate, right? So the nameplate that you replace is the nameplate that everybody else in the game is going to see. So I want to make sure it kind of matches my dynamic anyway, my whole little scheme. So we're keeping it purple through and through. So now all I got to do is you got to get this and copy it. So the end goal here is to make sure that we have the exact same file name and the exact same file dimensions. So let's go ahead and open up Affinity Photo. I'm gonna leave my webcam off for this part of it because I'm probably just gonna time lapse this construction part. So uh, let's just speed up to the end real quick. Ooh. All right, I think this is just about as perfect as it gets, in my opinion. So I want to export this to its own folder to avoid replacing anything. I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop. So I'm just about to export as, but make sure you export it without changing the name. It is vital that the file keeps the original name and the exact same file dimensions. Now back to the images folder. Right click cut the nameplate that you're going to replace. It doesn't have to be the one you drew over as reference. Now I'll paste it somewhere. I'm going to be using my desktop like an unorganized heathen, but you can rise above me, I promise. Now open up that new folder you made. Paste it in the images folder where you got the original. And that's that. As long as you didn't rename the file, just replaced it using the same name, then you're all set. I wouldn't delete the original when you removed either though. Just hold on to it somewhere if you're a digital pack rat like I am, just in case you ever want to make a new one or replace it. So there it is. Well, if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought with a comment or a like down below and uh, maybe maybe subscribe or something while you're at it. You know, just, just click that big plump red button down there. You know, I really appreciate that. want the points. Woo! That no scope has me wet, dude. I got the five piece off of that. I think me and that clip might have had children.